In this video, I'm going to show you how to use IntelliJ with a Python project and get the IntelliSense feature working so that it can give you hints and allow you to trace through the code. In my development setup, I'm using Windows WSL with a Debian Linux instance, and my Python setup uses the PyENV Manager, which allows me to easily switch between different versions of Python. In this project, Wagtail Bakery Demo, I'm set on Python version 3.12. What I need to do now is show IntelliJ where the Python interpreter is and get to load all the related dependencies. I'm using the latest version of IntelliJ at this time, which is version 2024.1.1. Earlier versions had some bugs which might have caused issues loading Python dependencies. Now I'm going to show you the project structure SDK configuration. I have some corrupted configurations here which I couldn't get to work on the previous version of IntelliJ. I'm going to delete these and set these up again using this latest version of IntelliJ. I'm going to set up the new configuration by going to Add Python SDK and selecting the WSL configuration. For the Python interpreter path, I'm going to point it to the PyENV shim which is currently pointed to Python version 3.12. We can find this path using the which Python command on the command line. Note that this picks up whatever the current global PyENV setting is at. I'm going to close this window and give it a moment to load the libraries. If we return to this window later, then we'll know that it's detected Python correctly because the class paths are populated. Now if we go under the project menu, we can select our SDK, but it already automatically selected Python 3.12. There's one more thing left to do. IntelliJ needs to perform its own load of pip packages. So we'll click Install Requirements, give it a moment, and then it should be able to resolve the dependencies. Now that took care of all the red squiggly lines. Now I can hit Control B on any of the functions or class names, and it should be able to show me the source code, even if it's part of an imported library. Now I want to show you where it's referencing these third-party libraries. We click this button here to show where the open file is at. It'll take us to the file structure tree. We can see this particular file that we're looking at. If we look at the path, we'll see that it is in .pyenv versions 3.12 libpython 3.12 site packages. What if we want to change the Python version 3.11? To do that, we have to change the PyENV global reference. If I type PyENV global, it'll show us as currently pointing to version 3.12.2. PyENV versions shows me the versions that are available. I want to switch to version 3.11. So we'll set the global to version 3.11. And now we'll run the same process over again. We'll go to SDKs. We'll add the Python SDK. We'll select WSL, point it to the Python shim, and now it should pick up version 3.11.5. We'll close this, wait for the class paths to load. We'll reload the project structure. Now the class paths are there. Now what we gotta do is we gotta go to project, change the Python interpreter to version 3.11. Let it update the indexes. Now if we click one of the references, it should take us to 3.11 dependency files. Now if we see where this file is at, it's in the 3.11 folder. 